Hey guys, we are on Thursday! Dongzi, also known as the winter solstice, is the shortest day of the year. On this day, we're officially entering the cold winter. In Taiwan, people celebrate Dongzi with tonic food and tangyuan, aka the glutinous rice balls, to strengthen their energy in the winter. I wish every day was Dongzi because I'm a huge fan of Tangyuan. Although Tangyuan are available all year round at local shop, it's really meaningful to have Tangyuan on this day. Having Tangyuan today means you're getting a year older. And the round shape of Tangyuan, we call it Yuan in Chinese, also signifies Yuan month, satisfaction, and family reunion, Huan Yuan. Due to the change of life pace in modern times, people now don't take it so seriously to celebrate Dongzi as they did before. And it's not a holiday for people to take a day off either. However, people can still feel the warmth they need in winter through the food they have on this day. During the week when Dongzi approaches, you see many people lining up to buy Tangyuan. They even ask friends out to have lamb hot pot or ginger duck stew together. Wow, it smells really good. And as you can see, there are many people here eating lamb hot pot and ginger duck stew. The steam is coming up from the hot whirling soup and it feels really warm and comfortable. I can't wait to dig it in there. Most Taiwanese people believe lamb hop top and ginger duck stew are warm dishes. They are rich in protein and fat. In addition, both dishes contain large amount of Chinese medicinal herbs such as ginger, angelica, and chuancheng rhizoma. People believe consuming these dishes can provide energy and warmth to the body in the winter. This is definitely the comfort food I want during the winter. Dongzi, the winter solstice, is the shortest day of the year, occurring from December 21st to 23rd. It's also the last solar term in the traditional lunar calendar. After this day, people grow one year older and they usually eat hot, boiling food to supplement the young energy to spend the winter. Today I came to Chaotou, a warm and sunny district of Kaohsiung. Artist Guo Yichen is taking me back to his birthplace to experience the charm of Dongzi. Dongzi is actually like a summer holiday, which is a warm feeling that can bring together family and friends. Eat tang yuan, eat tang yuan, and enjoy this Dongzi. For years, Yichen has created works of art and lunch exhibitions in northern Taiwan and abroad. Recently, he remodeled his family's old three courtyard compound in Kaohsiung as a space for his artistic residency. He therefore gets the chance to return hometown and visit his mother once in a while. Yichen's mother is already on her way buying Chinese herbal medicine on the morning of Dongzi. I've never bought any Chinese medicine before, so I'm very curious what are needed for the Dongzi's tonic food. 你们每年冬至都会来中药行买中药吗？会啊，因为它在台北都外食啊，那个它从小身体又不好，入冬的时候我都会买中药啊，炖炖给它吃。觉得冬天就是有中药的这种味道的一个记忆，这样子。哦，
preparing tonic food. Before preparing the Dongzi feast, Yichen's mother said they had to first offer Tangyuan to the ancestors to thank them for their protection throughout the year. Yuan in Tangyuan suggests Tuanyuan, meaning family reunion, and Yuan also symbolizes completeness and abundance in Mandarin. What are we going to do today? 麻油米糕，麻油米糕，冬至的暖身的一个食物这样子。就这个时候，家家户户都会做。麻油本身哦，就是会比较有有补气，对身体比较好。哇，我已经闻到香味了，好香哦！等等等，慢慢倒，我不然怕怕里面有水。用手可以，尽量不要用手了。哇，好香哦！好，那大家全部一起。你你没有做过家事哦。第一次做麻油鸡米糕，其实。在外面住的时候，其实自己才会下，但回来其实就是给妈妈照顾。北漂的小的的孩子的回来啊，都会回来就当幸福的小孩。对，妈妈煮东西最好吃。真的，妈妈妈妈的味道。And right now we're just stirring up all the chicken and rice together, and rice supposed to suck up all the water. Ah, wow, this tastes just right, the perfect amount of seasoning. 这样就好了，啊，放进电锅里面去，啊哈。It's too bad that you can't smell through the screen because it's too good. Yichen's mother still has two more dishes to prepare, so we've got to hurry to get the chicken herbal soup done. And when all the family members return home, we'll be ready for the highlight of the day. 好，那我们要开始搓汤圆了哦。古时候都说，红色的这就说金。白色的叫做银，这个是火龙果，这就是比较养生。真的假的 ？What a natural and healthy way of making tang yuan. Look how beautiful it is. 好吗？搓小一点呐。啊？太大了就不。太大吗？不行，太大不行。不行，太大哦。小小不行。你知道？你知道以前我们说吃汤圆吃一颗就长一岁，你知道吗？我吃一颗就长一岁。哎，妈，你在你在你在你在捏什么？你在捏什么 ？You made a tongue with a face on it。好了，你看我的狗，我虽然只做一颗头而已。真的。Ta da! This is the dog I made. A tongue yuan dog. 哦，你做了一只猪哎，很酷哎。你做了什么？水饺。水饺，那包水饺馅是吗？ Making tang yuan with them was so fun, and the texture of it is like playing with baby powder slime. We made so many shapes of tang yuan, and Guo Mama, she's so creative. She even made a tang yuan universe. Best thing to do on Dongzi, making tang yuan. During the time of waiting for boiling tang yuan, Yichen prepared a special activity for all of us. He wants to take advantage of this reunion moment on Dongzi. And invites all the family members to make meaningful works of art out of clay. 其实有时候很想念大家，但是我握不到你们的手，所以我想要复制你们手的形状，我可以去跟你们牵手。然后我们就用力握，用力握，就越想家人就用越用力，握得很用力，用力，用力，用力。啊，我很想你这样子。把冬至这种某种团圆的抽象的。概念变成一个具体的形状，这样希望可以透过这个手跟手大家连接的作品，把大家重新又串起来。嗯，我觉得你的艺术品不但好玩，而且又有意义。我觉得台湾人其实都比较含蓄，我们很少用去拥抱，我们很想很少去接触对方的身体。Yeah, Taiwanese people are less likely to hug their family, and I think it's a pity because I love hugging my family. So I hope they can hug each other to express their love. Dongzi seems to be reminding us that no matter where we are, home is always waiting for us. Our hearts are more closely connected through Yichun's artistic project. And oops, gotta eat our tangyuan quickly, or they're going to be sticky. 哦，好香哦！快点哦！吃完了嘞 ！We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine dishes. That's crazy. We've got tang yuan that we made earlier, and sesame oil rice cake, and chicken soup. Can't wait to eat them all. I'm starving, and they all smell really good.
So this is all the Tang Yuan we made today. I was trying to find the shape that I made, but unfortunately, all the Tang Yuan lost their shape. And they all look the same right now, but it still tastes really good. Nowadays, not much family gather around just for celebrating Dongzi. And I can see how joyful Yichen is. And I think celebrating Dongzi can remind people how important and precious it is to spend time with family. Best thing to do on Dongzi, gathering and sharing. Hello, I'm ready to give you a present for you. Oh, hey, come on. Oh, I have. Yes, everyone has. Thank you. In order to return to their kindness, I'm gonna make them chocolate chip cookies. I'm about to give them a whole different taste during winter because back in the state, me and my family would make chocolate chip cookies together, and that always feels really cozy and comfortable. You feel good? It's good. I'm telling you, when I was in the States, I would eat this cake. So I wanted to bring this smell to you all. It's a kind of taste of chocolate and cake. 我第一次聽到你們像這樣子在懷念就是家裡的感覺跟你在過冬冬天的感覺。Cheers。Cheers。Cheers。敬冬至。敬冬至。敬冬至。The Guo family welcomed me with open arms and that made me feel really relaxed and the art that Ethan is doing is really meaningful to me. Let each family member knead their clay and print their hands on it. Especially eating warm, delicious food that everyone had hand in makes me want to be with my family. This is what Dongzi is all about. Family reunion. Sticking like Tang Yuan. And that's why I wish you were here. <laughs>